How about that game in Utah tonight? What is going on, everybody? Sacktown Pete back at it again. Sacramento Kings got it done on the road tonight against the Utah Jazz in Utah. Final score, 117 to 115. Went down to the wire. Man, these two games against the Utah Jazz this season, last Friday and tonight, have been freaking fun. Um, if this Kings team would have lost tonight, you led majority of the game tonight, and you had some letdowns, some bonehead turnovers, and some fouls tonight, would have cost you a win, uh, loss tonight. Um, this definitely would have been the worst loss of the season, but I'm glad they maintained um, composure down the stretch and got it done down the stretch. De'Aaron Fox was fantastic. Let's start off with De'Aaron Fox. Let's start off with the numbers because De'Aaron Fox was went star Fox on them tonight. In 38 minutes, he had 37 points, three rebounds, six assists, just an unbelievable fourth quarter down the stretch for De'Aaron Fox. Uh, just switched cheese to man. Un unguardable in the pick and roll. Um, got to the hoop at will, and that mid-range jumper is elite. It's freaking elite, man. Uh, great to see Fox dominate and kill it in the pick and roll tonight and carry us to a win tonight. Demonis Sabonis is fantastic tonight as well. 39 minutes, he had 21 points, 14 boards, 8 assists. Domas, just another straight beast of the game. Um, it's it's just amazing, man. We're spoiled to have Demonis Sabonis on our team. Um, no doubt in my mind that Demonis Sabonis will be – Representing the Sacramento Kings and All Star Weekend in the six weeks in Utah, because that's where the game will be this year. Uh, All Star Weekend will be in Utah this season, and uh, there's no doubt in my mind that Domas will be there. And I'm hoping that De'Aaron Fox uh, makes his way over there as well, because he's playing at an All Star level as well. Uh, Keegan Murray got his Western Conference Rookie of the Month honors today for the month of December, and tonight. He showcased why he deserved the honor. In 37 minutes, Keegan had 16 points, five boards, one assist. You know, three of seven from downtown, but the shot looked – this form looks really good. Probably one of the best form releases I've seen. And uh, he's got a quick release, man. And he's made some big buckets down the stretch as well. Uh, Harrison Barnes, I thought he was solid tonight. 37 minutes, he had 19 points, eight boards, two assists. Uh, Kevin Herter loves to play against the Jazz. You know, he had a career high 30 points to get last Friday against the Jazz. Made that big game-winning shot, which erupted Golden One Center. And tonight, he was solid, man. He had, in 20, 32 minutes, Kevin had 16 points, four boards, one assist. Um, Davion Mitchell off the bench tonight. 18 minutes, he had four points, three boards, one assist. You know, it's funny. Every time Day checks into the game, every time he goes on the court, um, it's just, the, he, it's, re it's wrecking havoc, man. You know, I've told him multiple times, first team all defense. And he has not disappointed. Very deserving of the first team all defense honors for Davion Mitchell. I am pushing for it, man. I really do hope he, he gets it because he deserves every single moment to be on that on the list and on that team. Um, arguably the best all ball defender in the league and one of the best shutdown clamps defenders in the league as well. So shout out to Davion for doing this thing on the defensive end. Uh, Malik Monk, 15 minutes. He had two points, one board, four assists. You know, offensively, he struggled. He was really, um, you know, not really good offensively. But the fact that he had four dimes and play make in the pick and roll with Sabonis, um, I could live with that. But he's definitely got to be better moving forward offensively. Uh, Rashad Holmes got nine minutes tonight. He has zero points, zero rebounds, zero assists. He took the one shot attempt, and it was 0 for 1. You know, I hope that Rashad Holmes uh, plays a lot better moving forward because we're going to need him to play better if he's going to be the you know backup center to DeMarcus Sabonis. And he's got to rebound the ball as well. I mean, you got nine minutes off the bench and um, zero rebounds. That's got to, you got to be better, Rashad. And I know you're very capable of being better. So let's bounce back to uh, the next game, which is tomorrow night against the Atlanta Hawks. And uh, let's get some boards tomorrow. Uh, Trey Lyles in nine minutes. He had two points, two boards, zero assists. KZ Akpala in seven minutes. He had zero points, zero rebounds, zero assists. But a big shot to KZ because he played good defense on Jordan Clarkson. Made it tough, made it difficult on Jordan Clarkson. So KZ. Um, very proud of the way you play defensively. You know, the offense and everything else will come as just a bonus. But way to play and defend at a high level defensively against one of the best scorers in the game in Jordan Clarkson. And overall, um, you know, we shot the ball pretty well today, guys. You know, 53% from the field today. Anytime you can shoot 50-plus percent from the field, uh, that's a good chance of winning a basketball game. You know, 932 overall from the field. You know, those six of – Nine three-pointers came in the first quarter. We just went ice cold. I think Murray hit a couple in the second half. But uh, we were red hot to start out the game in the first quarter. 
you know, making six threes from beyond the arc. But the fact that we went 20%, we still managed to win the game. We can live with that. I can live with that. Uh, free throw shooting was good tonight, man. 80, 89%, 16, 18 overall from the free throw line. You know, 17 turnovers. There was a stretch where we had, I think it was second quarter, we had like four straight turnovers. And I'm like pulling my hair like, yo, what is what are we doing? What is going on? And the fact that we still sustained the lead despite those bonehead turnovers and fouls. And yeah, we did, you know, hold the uh, We did freaking uh, not do well by sustaining the lead and losing the lead. We were down by, I think, a point or two uh, in the fourth quarter, but we came back and uh, took the lead. And this game, if we would have lost tonight, it would have really pissed me off because I hated the fact that you would, you're you winning majority of the game and then you come out, you still end up losing the game. I don't know how, but it's just due to, you know, dumb bonehead mistakes like that. We can't have turnovers like that. And even like the Keegan Murray foul at the end, like, you know, Lauren Marketing attempts three, point, uh, three free throws. Uh, whether it's a foul Keegan or not, just, you know, let don't foul him. You know, it looked like he, Lori kicked his leg out on Keegan. I didn't see any contact with the hand, but it was more of a, you know, kick out that kind of threw him off balance, which, um, you know, I don't know how that's a foul on Keegan, but whatever, it was called on Keegan. And um, Laurie made all three free throws to tie the game. And then Fox came back down, took over with the layup, and Laurie's three, uh, three-pointer at the buzzer did not count. You know, point four left. Uh, he made it. Um, I just knew that there's no way he got that off in point four uh, seconds because that ball was clearly in his hands with point four, with point one, and point zero, and boom, it was just it was over. So great job by the officiating to review that last play and to wave off that basket, and it's a it resulted in the Kings win. So uh, with that being said, you know this is a good win. I didn't want this game to go over the overtime because knowing that we have to play uh, the Atlanta Hawks tomorrow, we have a second game. We have a back to back tomorrow, and then we have three days off to play. Uh, we play the Lakers over the weekend on Saturday. But this is a good, much hard, hard fought win uh, against a Utah Jazz team. That's very good basketball team. They play hard every night. Um, they got a young star in marketing who is really, really good, and they have a, cor- a cornerstone with them, and they'll continue to build and be better with um, marketing and getting those pieces around him. So. With that being said, I want to hear from you guys. I want to hear your guys' thoughts on this game tonight. Uh, great win. You know, it's our 20th win of the season tonight. It's great, man. You, know, you start off, uh, you get win number 20, and you've won 30 games all year last year. You're 10 away from getting that mark. And the set of the games that's coming up, you know, the next seven, eight games, uh, you should be around breaking that or around surpassing that 30-game win mark in the next couple of weeks, man. Uh, proud this team had to play tonight. You know, they definitely had some letdowns, which kind of, you know, shook my, made me shake my head and drive my hair, pull my hair. But uh, the fact that, you know, Fox and Sabonis took over down the stretch, especially in particular in Fox, great to see him carry the Kings to a win. And, um, yeah, I want to see Star Fox uh, tomorrow night again. I want to see this happen tomorrow night against Trey uh, Young because, boy, I don't know what it is with the Atlanta Hawks. We always – Struggle with them. Um, struggle pretty badly against them in the, the last game. The first game we played in Atlanta. But I really do hope that the second out of the back-to-back doesn't, you know, make us any tired. We should have fresh legs. And uh, we should be able to uh, play at a high level tomorrow night against the Atlanta Hawks and our home is sack. So with that being said, guys, let me know your guys' thoughts. It's going to do it for me for tonight's video. I'm so glad the Kings have to win tonight. Crazy storm coming our way tomorrow. Please be safe. Please be safe. Please be healthy. Uh, Keep pushing forward. God bless. I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Peace.